Japanese mermaids, otherwise known as the Ningyo. Now, this is so fascinating. I really wanted to look into this after I did my video on mermaid sightings. Now, I definitely want to do another part to that, so stay tuned. But like I said, we're going to be talking about Ningyos. Now, if you guys have never heard about this, very, very interesting. Get your tea, get your snacks, get your wall and cool, get everything because mes amis, on pin pour nous parler là, okay? Before you guys watch this video, make sure you guys smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash that button, you know that girl, sister out. Follow the main channel, join my Discord, follow me on Bigo, pour tout haïtien, qui sou Bigo, I be on Bigo. And yeah, check my description box for all the important links in my life. Get your merchandise, we got new merch coming. If you have any ideas, definitely hit me up in my DM. I will definitely let you know. Of course, comment down down below what is your most interesting question that you ever had about mermaids start that discussion down below because y'all be having some interesting questions that I be so confused about and I'm like yo I be wondering the same shit it's very very interesting to learn about other cultures and learn about their superstitions and traditions and folklores and the Nino is very very interesting Nino's apparently eat people but apparently if you eat it it can grant you eternal life it can make you immortal so japan's equivalent to a mermaid is a nino so a nino is essentially a mermaid like creature that is way more fish than human now obviously when you think about an american standard of a mermaid it is half fish half human but more so more of the top version is human and then it's just the bottom that's a fish but with a nino it's more of like the whole body being a fish and the head is a human more of like an ape like looking creature and even more crazier they have sharp teeth and they have like legitimate claws for hands and they actually look extremely scary they're not beautiful. They don't sing crazy ass songs or whatever the case may be, like all of the stories that we hear in Western literature. In fact, for the most part, a lot of these niños are terrifying, actually very, very terrifying. And even more interesting is one who catches a niño can be cursed with really bad luck. It is said by fishermen in Japan that if you catch one, you are to immediately let it go. And if you don't let it go, you will have bad luck. Or if you take it home, that village or whatever it is that you are from will most likely suffer a lot of problems. There's been so many different stories and accounts of towns being wiped out by freaking earthquakes and tidal waves, hurricanes, tsunamis, you name it, just from an ignorant fisherman taking a nino home. It's some serious shit. But for some people, they have caught it and been granted eternal life. It has been said that if you catch a nino and you eat its flesh, you can be granted eternal life. And this may sound amazing to a lot of you, but how really amazing is eternal life? There's been so many stories of people who have eaten ninos and been cursed with this eternal life at the same time, but we're gonna get into that a little bit later. Ninos are said to have very magical powers and said to be able to shapeshift. This is why there are also other accounts that say that Ninos can also be pretty, but also kind of like in Haitian religion and folklore. We'll see that people talk about mermaids being ugly and pretty as well. They're pretty until you make them mad, they can turn ugly. And I believe this is the same case with Ninos. I just believe they have an underground world where they just like us over here, but it's like underground and maybe some are ugly and some are pretty, but hey it is what it is there's been numerous stories of them just coming on earth and you know tricking humans into doing things for them you know luring men in but for the most part the general consensus is don't touch them you don't want to get one you don't want to piss one off and most importantly you don't want to bother one because you might fuck shit up usually if one washes up on shore it means indefinite war is going to happen or some sort of serious tragedy but there have been some cases where some have appeared 
and it meant that there's going to be a fruitful crop to come in you know a very short amount of time so it really just depends on which one you come across and honestly what they expect you to do but it's very very interesting because they don't really even talk it's said that niños have like a very very flute like voice like they don't talk they just like sing i guess in flute but it's not like a sing it's literally just a flute noise like they have like a cart flute type of voice thing situation so they can't necessarily speak but i've seen stories of people saying oh you know the nino begged to be let free and i'm like that shit don't make no damn sense so i guess it really depends on who you ask because there's lots of different accounts but again i'm sure they know how to shape shift so i guess it depends on you know maybe the mermaids be traveling i don't know and nino's are also found in dutch culture as well and i believe the dutch version is a little bit different from the japanese version i believe china has its own version but i was more so looking into the japanese version sightings have been been recorded as early as 619 CE in one of Japan's oldest historical books called the Nihon Shaki. Hope I'm saying that right. If I said anything wrong, I apologize. And for centuries, people have been very, very confused as to what exactly a nino is if it exists and for the most part people have compared them to mermaids and have seen so many different renditions pictures paintings and it's very very interesting they are indeed magical and of course they can either grant you good luck or bad luck but one thing is that's very interesting is they actually cry pearls yes pearls if you ever see a nino crying honestly when they go in the water because you don't want to get in their space because they they can legitimately kill you they're known to kill humans you should go back around where they were crying at and you might find some pearls which can translate to good luck and money because pearls are very very precious and rare but it's also said that if a nino cries they can also be turned into a human so i don't think they try to cry much because that actually would be a bad thing for them the immortal thing sounds really enticing you really want to avoid a nino at all costs there's some stories that have been passed down from generation to generation and one is of yao bikani like i said if i'm saying it wrong i apologize and this is the story of a fisherman from wakasa province in japan who was fishing out one day and he caught a fish that he thought looked very very interesting apparently he knew nothing about the nino he knew nothing about what he should and shouldn't do he just thought that the fish was interesting and brought that shit home and invited all his friends over to come taste the fish he just thought it was interesting and wanted to share with his friends now all of his friends were a little bit skeptical and one of his friends went in the kitchen looked at it and was like um the fuck they saw that it had a human head fish body and he was like oh nah bruh went to the rest of the friends and was like um he trying to serve us some fish with a human head we're not eating this shit but we can't be rude because you guys know in foreign cultures you can't turn down food especially when people invited you to the house to eat food so they all decided that when the food was served they're gonna act like they're gonna eat it but instead they took their portion put it in a napkin and just like saved it so on their way home they can discard it and throw it in the garbage now i'm not sure if these friends just knew and just didn't say anything but whatever it was they knew that that shit was weird i mean it had a human head in a fish like body nigga i wouldn't eat that shit either but one of his friends genuinely was lit as hell off of some sake if you guys don't know what sake is it's like a japanese drink it makes you real real lit sake's really really good i had some sake recently that i actually really didn't like but usually sake's really really good and it could really make you lit okay really lit don't underestimate the sake so he was lit off of sake and he took it home instead of throwing it out and when he got home his daughter was expecting a gift from him i don't know if he was just like out all day out for a couple of days and he was like oh here here's some fish mind you he's still drunk and he completely forgot um we're not supposed to eat this fish we're supposed to throw this fish out and i just gave it to my daughter i'm guessing the liquor started to wear off or whatever by the time the liquor started to wear off and he realized the nonsense he had done the child had eaten all of the damn fish he's freaking out he's confused but he's like you know what she already ate it i'm just gonna monitor her and make sure that nothing wrong is happening nothing crazy is happening so eventually after a couple days they monitored her and nothing happened now this is how people realized niños probably were bringing people eternal 
life, making humans immortal. So essentially over the years, you know, she got married, went through life and people realized that she just wasn't aging. Like she just stayed youthful. Like she just never got old. She just looked exactly the same. Meanwhile, you know, her first husband died, got married again, second husband died, got married again, third husband died. Like literally she got married over and over and over again. Her family's dying. Everyone that she's ever known is dying. And she's confused as to why she's seeing everyone around her die, but she's still here. So eventually after getting married a bazillion times, she really got depressed and got worn down. Because if you guys can imagine, right? Everyone wants to live forever and look young and all of that. But like really at what cost, right? I think we all have to die. Like, come on now. I'm tired of paying bills and I'm only 26. Like, can you imagine paying bills for the rest of your fucking life, bro? Like eventually she ended up becoming a nun, traveling the world, literally just going about her business. And you know, she came back and like it was so fucked up because people were just like being real rude to her people call her a ghost people would say that she was like demonic people would say like so many horrid things to her and it got to the point where she was about 800 years old yes guys she was 800 years old and did not age at all not a wrinkle not nothing and she ended up committing suicide because she literally was just so tired you know she didn't know anyone anymore she was just overwhelmed by everything you know seeing our husband husbands die seeing all her family die over and over again and living all of these multiple lives it just wore down on her and then having people call her those names so she ended up committing suicide and yeah very sad fucking story people watch your damn kids and don't just give your kids anything to eat i just don't fucking understand imagine living 800 years i ain't got time for it and then of course there's another story that's been passed down with another fisherman who decided to be negligent is all hell and catch a nino but this nino apparently talked to the fisherman and literally asked to be let go like this nigga was like hey please let me go please i don't want to die and he sat there and killed the nigga anyway he gutted it and everything and instead of eating it that day he literally just left it in a box i guess to finish or eat it later he had three kids and the kids were hungry and they saw the fish thought nothing of it ate the fish and um died and i'm not talking about regular dying bro like i'm talking about like scales were piercing through their skin they were ice cold in a fish like type of state but like dead on the floor. The dad found them. He was crying hysterically, going crazy. And I guarantee you, he regretted not listening to the damn Nino that said let him free at that point. But um, eventually he cried out to God and God was like, if you plant these three trees, your children will go to heaven. And these three trees are still in existence. I believe they're called the Tagagushi trees. I think I'm saying that correct. And yeah, I believe those kids went to heaven after that. Very sad fucking story again. Stop being fucking negligent, y'all. Honestly, I ain't got time. These fishermen just be catching these things. I just don't understand if anything, you should eat the damn fish yourself. Now your kid's dead because you want to be a nosy bitch. Because you want to ignore the nigga. The nigga said, let me go, motherfucker. Let me free, bro. He said, locked up. They won't let me out. And then look. Look what happened. And then, of course, there's another story that's been passed down for generations where a man literally saw a nino and the nino convinced him to bring her home. Now, what's very interesting about this one and the last one is, as you guys can see, these ninos spoke. So that is why a lot of people feel like these ninos do shape shift because usually they don't speak. They don't necessarily have a voice. And this one was very, very um, bad. She convinced him to take her home and every night she would eat pieces of the man and take parts of his soul in order to go out and live a human life yes and he didn't realize this until he would like every time he would see her he kept seeing pieces of her in him like he would like literally look in the bathroom because he kept her in the bathtub literally because like i mean she's a mermaid he had to keep her in water so he'd keep her in the bathtub and every time he would like check in on her he realized like what the hell like i'm looking back at myself and he couldn't understand what's going on and when he finally realized like what the hell like she's literally like eating pieces of me like oh my god he ended up having to kill her it was a whole situation y'all whole situation he ended up having to kill the mermaid and then with the killed nino once he figured out what she was trying to do and yeah now he's allegedly mentally ill or whatever and in a mental institution and he's afraid of the color green like definitely afraid of the color green because of this whole ordeal very interesting shit now of course all of these stories are super duper old these are stories that have been passed down 
from generation to generation and there's so many more and the whole Nino situation is very terrifying and very very different from the whole idea of like a westernized mermaid that's just so mysterious and pretty and lures men sit or death or just leaves a brush and gives you good luck like these are like legitimate fish that people can find and catch and bring home and possibly eat like I feel like mermaids when we talk about them especially like in the western world or even in Africa or Haiti or anything like that about them being huge and massive and like you know big ass tail you know more like a woman whether they're scary or beautiful usually they're huge you can't really like catch them with like a hook and fish usually they're a lot more like intelligent kind of like us these seem to be like a lot smaller you can really like catch them like a regular fish so very interesting paradox here and i'd love to know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below have you heard about ninos will you look more into it do you have any stories down below about mermaids or ninos i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below make sure you guys like share subscribe do all that and i'm gonna see y'all next time